Booyaka Booyaka 619! Your mom's a fucking hag. Oh! What's up, bitches and stitches? Welcome back to Full Play, part four. Banjo Tooie with Michael. It's not with Banjo. Well, it is with Banjo. They're there, okay? So I'm back from a bit of a hiatus. You know, the holidays rolled around. Even as you can tell in the last few videos, specifically in part three, I was sick as shit. Well, not sick as shit, but I had a little indigestion. I, why did I say that? I have mean, indigestion at all. I had allergies. The fuck did I say that for? I'm fucking this up. Anyway, I'm in tip top shape. Top tip shape. I had to run and uh, grab that warp pipe because I actually uh, never got it yet. Or the silo or what have you. I don't know. It's been a month since I played the game. I don't know anything. I don't even remember what the name of the main character is. Who's this guy? Is this Pete? Pete the Bear? That's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay? But as I said, bit of a hiatus. I was sick, there was the holidays, I had some friends in town. Here's the thing, okay, people lost their fucking minds, again, like they always do. I don't know how many fucking times I have to tell you motherfuckers! I mean, most of you are great, but it's the motherfuckers that this is not a weekly show. It doesn't come out every week. It's not gonna come out every week. I've said this over and over again, and now, okay, sure. Maybe you haven't seen every episode of Full Play. You're fucking crazy if you haven't. What are you doing with your life? But, yeah, you may have seen a few. And I don't mention it in every single episode. But I know I've mentioned it at least, like, three times. And if you're the person that's constantly bitching and fucking moaning about, Where's the next video? Oh, like, you're freaking out. Like, your life is coming to an end. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume you've seen most of the episodes of Full Play. Because there's only, like, 25 or something at this point. So you think you of all people would know that I do it on the weekends and I don't make it every fucking week! Holy shit! I will fucking punish every single person here if this doesn't change. I swear to God, okay? I'll lose my goddamn mind. I will smack all of you into tiny little fucking pieces. But before that, welcome to Full Play Part 4, as I've already said. Let's just get into it. Um, <laughs> I say this every fucking time and every fucking time. I'm a liar, but I'm gonna try and make this one short. Uh, because it's already like fucking four o'clock on Sunday and I actually want to make this video because everyone's fucking freaking out about it So I'm gonna finish this one. I have kind of like run a refresher in this so I know how to finish this level and Then I'm just gonna go to the next level and just fucking dick around um, I didn't I didn't like go over it and shit, so I'm kind of unfamiliar with it But I'm gonna stop pretty early into the next level because I want to get back to basically completing the level at the end of every full play, you know, because uh, most of them pretty much have ended with just me in the middle of the level, like this one, you know, I, or last week's, and now I start here and I'm just in the middle of the level. So I think this will be the last one. I'm going to beat this. I'm going to dick around in the next one, and then I'm really going to try and, like, fuck, like fucking uh, plow through it and beat it in one part so then I can get back to, like, you know, one level uh, fucking video. But, uh, we'll see. Hopefully that'll that'll work out. I'm sure it won't, and then everyone will freak out and shit. Okay, so, I've laid almost all the groundwork here in Witchy World. I pretty much just have to run around and collect everything. So, there's a jiggy up top here, and it's not too difficult to get, but it's a little bit of a bitch. As you saw, the, uh, the spinner there goes fucking ape shit, like it spins really quickly. It, you can get up there doing it that way, because I didn't know that you could do this the first few times I beat the game. But if you suck, like I do, and you can't get up there, so uh, you come over here to this little panel, you know, after you've turned it on and all that jazz, and no, that won't work, you fucking idiot. You wanna- OH! Whoa! Fucking fool. You wanna grab a grenade egg? Fucking bip that shit. Don't blow yourself up. I mean, do it if you want to, I guess. And that'll severely slow these things down. Now, the only real challenge about them spinning is you have very little time to see where the next platform is that you have to jump to. So you saw how fast it was going. That's why I jumped it on. I jumped on it first before I blew it up. And now you can see it moves way fucking slower. So you have you have so much more time to get up here if you were having trouble earlier than um, you know before you before you blew up the thing. Real good, real good. Blew it up real good. Ooh, oh oh. Dun, 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 suck weens a lot, you can suck my dick, it's all I got. If you haven't listened to Starbomb, uh, or more specifically, 
the Luigi's Ballad, fucking amazing. I mean, I'm sure this is, I'm beating a dead horse. Everyone in the universe knows about this. But here's the thing. If I didn't know about it, which I didn't because I'm fucking, you know, uneducated and I'm uncultured and I don't even think that's a word, but holy shit, that almost killed me. But if I don't know about it, right, people, people might say, Marco, why do you mention it? Everybody knows that shit. Somebody doesn't know about it. There's a guy somewhere that's going to go listen to Luigi's Ballad from uh, Starbomb. Which, that particular one, I believe, was completely animated by Eagle Raptor, and it's uploaded on his channel. It's like the music video for it. Um, but I don't know if he did the voices or not. I'm not sure if he did any of the acting in that particular one. But, highly recommend it. If you like uh, catchy tunes, and you like the video games, check out uh, Luigi's Ballad. It's a really fucking good song. And Starbomb in general. So shout out to Starbomb. I'll take my $20 now. It's a pretty good sponsor deal, right? 20 bucks for a plug. They said they'd mail it to me. I told them that mailing money isn't really smart. Like, I, that's frowned upon. You don't put cash in the mail. They said it'd be fine, so... Um, I don't think I'm... <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna get it. At the, I, yeah, I don't think I'm fucked. So this is where I ended part three. I came in with the van. You know, I, I deposited the money. And can I just say, like, I'm astounded with how well Part 3 went. Witchy World, in particular, this one, it sucked. I mean, it's a great level, but it's confusing as fuck. Going back to the whole, you gotta do shit in the right order, like, you be Mumbo first and do all this shit, and then Wumba and all that, otherwise you're just stuck transforming a thousand fucking times over and over again, and it just takes forever and it sucks. So I did a pretty good job with it last part. So now I just kind of have to run around and collect everything. And as I said the last time, I can get every single thing in this level, shy of the last Jiggy. I'll have to come back to that later after I get another ability. Um, this mini game, if you didn't read there, um, I think I played this against Ray and Versus. I think this was one of the games we played. But as much as I fucking slaughtered Ray, which I slaughtered him in this particular minigame, uh, the enemy fucking sucks. Because it's not even a contest of who can get more. It's just you drive around and all he does is bump you. Which is not challenging in the fucking least. So all I need to get is 60 points to win. And as you can see, I've already done that. I paused for a second because I didn't actually do it yet. And then I was like, I've already done that. And now it's done. And now it's done, gone, been God. I kind of wish the game would just end once you get the points, but, you know, whatever. I guess they want to make this guy feel like a fucking asshole with 100 fucking points! Booyaka, booyaka, 619! I've just decided, even if I've done it before, which I probably have, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a fucking one-trick pony kind of guy. Uh, the intro, you already know this because you're watching the video, but the intro for this video, like the controller drop, is going to be Booyaka Booyaka 619! I'm just saying. Unless something way cooler happens later, then I'll use that. So this escalates in difficulty. You got to do 1v1, 2v1, 3v1, and then you get... God, I'm fucking dying. And then you get the jiggy. So... It's not really that difficult. It's a little it's a little time consuming because you got to play these games. You got to do three games, but they're really fucking easy. The thing that's going to suck leans in this particular world. And I hope to god I don't butcher, which I probably will because it's very challenging. Even me being awful aside, it's really fucking difficult. I don't know how much I mentioned it in the previous part, but the thing that's going to suck is I set up the saucer mini game you know, like the saucer from Glitter Gulch Mine, and I fucking, you know, fucked around. God damn it, I missed the blue. I fucked around, and uh, I got it sent here, and then I powered it up, and yada, yada, yada. So now, it's a, it's basically like a rail shooter mini game, and uh, you have to score X amount of points to get prizes. First prize, we, uh, or s second prize, let's start small. Second prize, or second place, is 400 points, I believe, you need to score, and that gets you the third Cheeto page that we're going to need in this level. And then 500 points is is the jiggy. 500 points is legitimately pretty pretty challenging to do. Like it's not crazy hard, but I tinkered around in this shit before I started recording. And on my first attempt, through pure fucking luck, I got 505, which is pretty fucking nuts considering you need 500. And the biggest thing about that, that sucks is, it's a long fucking course. It's probably one to two minutes, so it's fun, and it's like, hey, but especially in this full play, if, oh my god, oh god, no! Ah! Ah! That 
was horrible. That was horrible for me. Jesus. I got pinned. I was like Ryan in the fucking Star Wall Let's Play. That was crazy. They were fucking me in the corner. Christ. Ah! I need like a fucking safety word. Help! Help! Christ. Um, but the thing about the rail shooter is if you fuck it up, it's, you'll be there a while. Just doing it over and over and over again. What did I need? 60? I'm never gonna get 60, am I? You fuckers. Wait, get the blue. Come on. I was talking about how easy this was and now I look like a fucking fool. But to be fair, they boxed me out in the beginning there and expected that to happen. Get one more, get one more! Get it! Holy shit! Oh, I, okay, I guess I only needed 50. God damn. If I needed that last one for 60 and I didn't get it, not gonna lie, I'd be mad. I would've been like, oh, I'm mad. If someone asked if you were mad, I would say yes. Yes, I am. <sighs> Alright, so there's the first, uh, first Jiggy. A dis, uh, Vidya. Wait, no, I lied. That's the second Jiggy. I'm losing my mind already. I did the fucking star spinner thing. Damn. I'm just getting jigs too fast. That's the problem. We also need one more Jinjo, I think. And he's right up here. So wait till that electricity stops. Fucking scuttle your little bare ass past that. Switch over to here. Run up here. And boop. Okay. So that's the fifth Jinji for this level. So now all we need is three more Jiggies. And one Cheeto cheat page. Now, again, we can only get one jig, or we can get two of the three jiggies, and we can get the uh, the cheat page. So I guess I'll save the boss for like the last uh, attempt I'm gonna do, because that'll be that'll be more exciting that way, right? Yeah. Um, after I get to the next level, which is a pretty cool level, it, it sucks because there's a bunch of underwater shit. And the underwater stuff's okay. It's just there's always that aspect of one drowning sucks. You never want to be the asshole that gets fucking drowns all the time. God damn, I need to go over here. And two, it's just confusing. You know, it's just like everything everything underwater. Holy shit, everything underwater is just like a fucking maze. It's like Zelda logic. Like let's make it hard as shit because there's water involved. Um, but there's an ability that you get in there, and. I want to say you can get a few things after you get that move from uh, Jam Jars. I'm not positive, but I definitely know that there's a really cool... Oh, fuck me. Well, I'm dead. You! Fuck! You see what he did? He hit me. I fucking froze up. I was in midair, and I'm like, oh, I froze up. Mm, I froze up. And then I fucking... I done gotten fell. That's bullshit. Okay, where the fuck was that? Was that outside Wigwams? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. Take a chance on me. Oh my god, I called it. Look at that. Yes. yes. But there's a really cool upgrade. I mean, it, technically it's an upgrade, but it's more just like a cool little, like, fucking optional thing you can get for Kazooie. But I... God damn it! I should definitely be able to get that after I beat the next level. I doubt I'll leave the level in the middle of it to go get the upgrade, but it's pretty fucking sweet. It will change Kazooie's life forever as we know it it's actually in reference to the to the um, Wumba hut right outside of this world because you need to get like a super duper magic globo because it's like the only globo that exists outside of the worlds so that's the thing that we can't get yet so once we get the ability in the next level I can go get that I think it's called a mega globo we can get the mega globo and then I can get that cool um, transformation and it's it's a transformation that's kind of like an upgrade but it lasts forever and you can go anywhere in the game with it it's not like a normal transformation where you know you can't leave the world or you know it disappears at some point or whatever and you can still transform your normal transformations even after that so it's pretty, it's pretty OG. Okay, so this is the fucking pain in the ass saucer thing. Again, it's not that... I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard because it's just a rail gun. And it's kind of just like getting the trajectory of the bullets. You don't necessarily have to learn the pattern. As I said, I just, I did this and I, and I got 500 to 5 on my first try. But I have no clue what the potential highest score is, you know, out of 500, what, what can you get? You might be able to get like six or 700 if you're amazing, but the room for error is not big at all uh, on this fucking thing. So you could definitely be doing this a few tries. Hopefully it doesn't take me a few tries here. And if it does, I'm certainly going to cut it out because it's just boring as shit to watch. 
over and over again. I don't even know what the hell I'm going to say during this one. Because I don't want to fuck it up while I'm jabbing my jaw. But the the bullets aren't, like, you, you have no ammunition. You can't, like, it's unlimited. You can't overheat them or whatever. So you should never, ever stop firing. Just hold the left or right trigger and never let go. And all you got to do is move the left analog stick. It goes the same for fucking everything in the entire game at this point. Blue's worth three, green's worth two, red's worth one. So you want to go for the blues, absolutely. And you have to. You won't get it. You absolutely will not get 500 if you don't get enough blues. But it's just like, it's a fickle bickle because you can't just go for the blues and ignore everything else. Especially if you miss the blues because then you're fucked. Already right here, I'm doing good because I'm pretty sure when I came in here the first time I had like 48. Just because I was... I was trying to think in my head, like, okay, how many points am I going to need so I don't look like a fucking moron in this full play? But, you know, that's unavoidable. I'm going to look like a moron anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much just like you want to you wanna spam it. You want to uh, just kind of like float it around so the trajectory hits it. You know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to explain, but once you play it, you realize, like, uh, you know, you can shoot eggs so the, the fucking... Oh, fuck. See, like, I missed the blue there. They, and they'll also just constantly spring blues on you. Like, some, there's, a, there's a few instances where there's nothing but two or three or four, and I think even one time, five blues. But you're always moving super fucking fast. You're, like, flipping upside down and shit. And they're really difficult to hit when it's only blues. They're actually way easier to hit when they're spread out amongst the crap. So that's why you want to you wanna go for it. Uh, but I, I don't think it costs any money. You can do it as many times as you want. It's definitely a thing, though, that it gets tedious and annoying as shit if you keep doing it and fucking it up. Especially at the last second. Like, when I was playing this earlier, I'm looking at... Uh, see, like, that's what I'm talking about. I actually managed to get two of those blues just because I heard the little chime in my headphones. But there's no fucking way in hell you're going to get those if you're not already holding down the trigger. And even if you are, it's still, you know, very easy to miss. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking killing here like this this is actually amazing i'm doing very well at this rate i should have it in the bag but that kind of just calls for me to fucking choke so i've already got 300 um but the but when i was doing it i was pulling into like the end like the station area and i'm like oh god oh god oh god and i was like too short and i i seriously got the 505 Maybe one second before the game ended. I was at like 498, hit some shit, 505 game ended, and I got it. Uh, you also want to hold the direction, or like hold the analog stick in the direction of the target, even after, like, you, you, you're flying towards it, because the upside is, like, when it's right the fuck in front of you, odds are you'll just, like, you'll hit shit just as you're flying by. You know what I mean? Like, you don't necessarily even need to aim. You just need to be holding down the button, and you'll hit it while you're flying by. So I think this is the final, like, um, section. We'll do some flips and shit, and then there's another blue one that's bullshit to hit if you're not ready for it. And then, uh, yeah, we're about to wrap it up. So hopefully I can get 50 points here, or else I'm going to look like a fucking idiot, and I'm going to have to do a bunch of shit over again, especially when I said I had it in the bag. I don't think I'm going to get it. God damn it! See, look at this shit. You motherfucker! I did so well in the beginning. My my uh, score was actually better than when I just beat it before, but all you got to do is go through one little fucking section and miss a couple of blues, and you're fucked. So right there, that was a legitimately uh, that legitimately was a pretty solid run, and I was fucking what was like 14 short. God damn it, you motherfucker! All right, I'll try again. I may or may not cut this out. We'll see, motherfucker. And holding holding both does not does not make it any faster. So, good luck with this shit. Naturally, I get it on my first try when I'm not fucking filming. But what are you gonna do, right? That's life. It, it might actually not be a bad idea to leave this in. Going back to my thing about I want to finish this level and then maybe start the next level and you know leave this video. I'm not saying short, but not a fucking hour and a half like they have been. Like it's just crazy long. It's fucking crazy! Right here, I think I had 80 last time when I went in. Now I only had 60. I don't fucking know. I'm not keeping track. I am keeping track. I lied. I just suck. Makes me sad inside. Banjo, shoot them shit. Even, even, uh, still, 480 whatever, it's pretty good for a first attempt. This shit, as a kid, fuck. This was one of the nightmares. As I mentioned in the other part, this 
and the um, the minecart race with uh, Mary Canary or whatever the hell her name is because as a kid I didn't know that it kind of scaled and you can make the race super easy by just sucking in the beginning I didn't know that so that first one uh, the other one that comes later the other minecart race which is even more brutal because the track is just way longer and this are like the biggest pain in the ass in this fucking game and I think there might be like one more thing I'm not remembering but, as I said right now, so now I, I just hit 200 and I had that before I left. So in my brain, I'm doing shitty and I'm doing way fucking worse than last time. But I could, you know, scoop up. Oh, fuck! Okay, I think I got like three of those. Just keep bipping, just keep bipping. Fucking banjo, ace, kamikaze pilot. Fuck! Right, I think I got two of them. Like, that's, that's a gold mine right there. If you can hit, you know, three or four of those, that's great. I'm curious. I might look this up. Nah, I won't. Somebody, <laughs> I'm not gonna look it up. Somebody in the comment section will tell me how many, uh, how many you actually need, or how many there actually are total. Like, I'm curious what the actual highest score you can get is. And now we get over here, and my score is fucking way better. Like, I think I had 300 when I came in here. So, I don't fucking know. Michael don't know, okay? Honey Banjo don't know. Oh god, I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking, I'm choking. I did okay. I did okay. Choke the chicken, choke the chicken, choke the chicken, chicken, choke, chicken, choke, chicken, choke, chicken. Oh fuck! I missed like everyone in that thing. I got some blues there, I got some greens, got some greens, got that blue, got that blue, green, blue, green, blue. Oh god, it's like Simon says! But even worse! Okay, so I'm fucking killing at this point. I have 440. If I fuck this up. It's just a goddamn shame. It's just pitiful. Michael, don't fuck this up. Don't don't make yourself pitiful. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get the blues. Get the blues. Get the blues. I think I got some. I got that one. I got that one. Got some more greens. Got some more greens. 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 Oh my god, 18 more. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm in the clear. Please fucking tell me I'm actually in the clear. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. That only took me two attempts. This was actually a solid fucking score, like, for my standards. 538, again, only because it's so close. Like, the room for error is very little. So I'll take two attempts. That wasn't bad. <clears throat> so I got the... I got the Cheeto Cheat page. And I got this Jiggy. So that only leaves one more Jiggy in this whole level than I can get until I come back later. And I... Honestly, don't even remember um, when exactly I come back. I know I have to get the taxi pack or whatever the hell it's called ability. It's when Banjo and Kazooie are split up. Banjo can put someone inside his backpack, and I gotta grab that kid that was too fucking fat and lazy to go back to his mother. And I gotta grab his stupid ass and be like, "Hey, stupid, get over here!" and fucking drag him back. But that's it. That's all. That's it, and that's only. And then I'll probably fuck around, you know, on the world map next time, too. I should already have the tickets from the last part, which you get from the four... Um... Yeah, there you go! You get them from the four little cash registers bouncing around, or... Oh, no, sorry, slot machines. Because usually tickets come out of slot machines, I guess. I thought it was coins, but... What do I know? I'm just a fucking buster. As I mentioned, I saved the boss for last, so this is the third level boss. We're not doing bad, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Considering how much bigger this game is than Banjo-Kazooie, the fact that at the end of part four, or maybe not even the end, in the beginning, or some point during part four of this full play, we're actually finishing World 3, that's not bad. And even though we have to come back to, like, clean up, you know, the missing jiggies here and there and shit. Honestly, once I have enough stuff, like, I can wait on that. I can make one part where I can run back to all the fucking levels. And it probably wouldn't even be a whole part. And just scoop up the minor shit that I missed here and there. So, this, this full play actually, if I maintain, won't take nearly as long as I thought. I honestly thought this would take maybe 20 plus parts, you know, when I initially started it. I managed to beat Banjo Kazooie in, I want to say, 10 or 12 parts in the, it ended up being. So I just figured this one would be like double, but, you know, a little perseverance, a little, little uh, planning, a little strategy. Oh boy! And uh, we're good to go. I don't remember what the fuck I'm doing at all with this guy. I think you just have to find a 
you gotta find a flight pad, fly up, and then just attack the, like, weak spots on him. That, hence his little 12 there, that's basically his health. But I don't know... Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I do fly. You might just fucking aim, and just fucking blow his ass up. Hey! Hey, asshole! I think after you hit enough patches... So you gotta hit the little patches on his body. I think after you hit enough patches... He starts spawning enemies and shit like that, and then the flight pad becomes available. Oh, you're gonna get bipped there. How did you not get bipped there? I call that bullshit, or bip shit. Come here, you fuck. <laughs> I think this is how to beat him, by the way. This was actually the one thing I didn't bother uh, testing before I started playing. Okay, there we go. Woo! Touch the bullet there, Michael. You almost look fucking foolish. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> watch out for the fucking, the, the boxing glove. The old boxing glove on a spring. It'll get you. Now you can get a few of these, if not most of them. Wow! On the ground. But, as we just found out, I guess that's going to be kind of hindered by the boxing glove. So, they're really uh, recommending that you take to the skies. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, fuck! Okay. Don't push left trigger once you get up there, because that'll happen. I don't know if I can fly into these things. Holy shit! Okay, left trigger and right trigger does that. I'm sorry, I haven't played the game in a month. Fucking sue me. Okay, so X, for the love of God, should definitely be the... The boo! Okay, I don't know if that can pop a patch. Let's find out. And... Oh! I got God. Yeah, it sure can. Okay, so you can kind of avoid the grenades and just go to town on this guy trying to pop him. If that's yo prerogative. Michael Jackson. Brittany. Doesn't make sense. Can I aim with this fucking thing? I don't. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if you hit the Y button, you go first person. And for this part, honestly, it'll probably make it a lot easier. Oh, and going first person, I forgot, an, an ability that you learn in this level is it gives you the ability to fire grenades or eggs of any kind while you're flying. Extremely useful on this boss fight. This will go a lot faster. Oh, God! This will go a lot faster than the, than the fly into him with the little ram technique. You can also just pepper the shit out of them, and while the blast radius on the grenades aren't huge, they're still okay. It's not too hard to, you know, hit something. Hard like my dick. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, you fuck. I was talking to myself, not the guy. There we go. Boosh! Okay. Two more, two more. You got two more on you, little buddy. That's it, you're gonna die! You're going to die! Oh, there's one in his fucking face! Hurt him on the face! Oh! Okay, so he's got one left. I have one grenade. I'm never going to hit him, but I'll try, and then I'll probably have to land and... Ah! And regroup. Double lap! F fuck. <laughs> Don't mind me. I meant to do that. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... Oh! See, now I'm intentionally hitting right trigger. I did that on purpose that time. I swear, I swear to God, I did it on purpose. Holy shit, you get so many eggs in this game. Ammunition is never a concern ever in Banjo Kazooie, or especially Banjo Tooie. I went from zero eggs to fucking 20 in like two seconds. I just started playing Skyward Sword, uh, Legend of Zelda for the Wii. It's one of the only Zelda games I've actually never played and completed. So, I had a Wii set up because I've been playing Mario Party, which is awesome. I highly suggest you downloading Mario Party 2 on the Wii Marketplace, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know, the Wii Shop. It's probably the best, if not one of the best, uh, Mario Parties for sure. Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 are fucking amazing. But anyway, I already had the Wii set up. I never played that Zelda. Blah, 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 blah. I got it. I'm playing it. It's fucking awesome, by the way. If you've never played Skyward Sword, it's really fucking fun. Um, but... Just having, like, the slingshot in that game, which I, I'm, I'm fairly early in the game still. I only beat, like, the first two dungeons. 
you know, you get like 10 fucking bullets you can carry before you gotta buy pouch upgrades and then you gotta you gotta upgrade the, the fucking sack and shit. And you could use two, three, four, five fucking things on one enemy and when you get ammunition, you're lucky if you get like three at a time. So coming from that to a game where you walk into a set of grenades or, you know, egg grenades that gives you fucking like 500, it's pretty, it's pretty convenient. Pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let's check the leaderboards here. I don't know why the fuck I said leaderboards. Let's view the totals. All right, so level one, totally done skis. Level two, everything's done except for a Jinjo and two Jigsaw pieces, which I can't get yet. I'll have to come back later. Actually, looking at the time here, too. An hour and 40 fucking minutes level one took me. Once again, that's why I'm now playing these levels before I start recording. So it doesn't take me an hour and 40 minutes. And it's level one! That's the easiest level! Glitter Gulch took two. Witchy World took 115. And honestly, even that's not bad. But that just shows you the huge difference between Banjo-Kazooie. Because Banjo-Kazooie... First world, and I'm no fucking speedrunner here. Ray would be disgusted to watch me play video games. It wouldn't be nearly as entertaining. But the first level, you know, I can beat it in 15 minutes without even trying. 20 minutes tops. The second level, maybe 30, 35. You know, the third level, maybe 40. And so on and so forth. It goes up a little bit here and there. But it does not compare to this game at all. This is the Wumba tent that I was talking about. You need the Mega Globo to get this. So... Hopefully, in the next video, I'll get the ability that I need in order to get the Mega Globo. And then, I can, you know, give her to Mega Globo. She'll be all like, oh, dude, nice dick. And I'll be like, fucking, you know it. And everybody wins. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is open the next world, I guess. Because I haven't done that yet. But, quite frankly, I don't know where the fuck to go right now. Did I go down here last time? I don't think I did yet. Oh, I didn't because there's that thing there. It was also funny too, if you saw that before it loaded, that was an empty tunnel and I'm just thinking like, oh shit, I didn't go down there? And then as I got closer, Kazooie's fucking stupid face loaded in. And I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, nope, yeah, I can't get in there. All right, so I guess I'm going back. Um, fuck, I really don't remember where I'm going. Okay, first first things first, I'll just hit the, uh, the warp even though I just walked away from it. Could have just used it right there. I don't I don't know why I did it. Didn't, actually. Okay, so the- Oh, right! And the bee chick's over here. I wonder if I can upgrade my health. Let's do that while we're here. Right? I haven't done that in a while. Oh, I bet this is how to get to the next area. So here's a split thing. Though I have no fucking idea what it does in the overworld. But, probably need it for something. Okay, guys. Just figured out- <laughs> I just figured out what the fucking split pad does in the overworld. I think. I think. I have a hunch, and I'm gonna- I'm gonna follow it. So as I said, I'm playing, tw uh, not Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, out of the main 15 Zelda games. And now this is just me saying, you know, the main. I'm sure other people will disagree about what a main Zelda title is, and like, oh, this counts and that counts and shit like that. But to me, it's nice. It's any of the console or handheld Zelda games that basically just didn't fuck around. You know, like, you start the game, you get the sword, you go to the dungeons, you collect the heart pieces, you fucking, you beat Ganon, or whatever the boss is at the end of the game. Because some games, you know, don't have Ganon. But there's a few that don't fit that mold at all. Like, a few of the Four Swords games. Now, I think one of the Four Swords is actually... A GBA like remake or some shit for A Link to the Past and it's got like this extra thing attached to it that's like this weird four player mode I could be wrong on that I know they remade A Link to the Past in some capacity on the GBA I don't know if that's what Four Swords is I also know there's a Four Swords game for the GameCube that's very different it's a four player like top down Zelda game where it's kind of like this level by level thing, and it's just fucking weird. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I played it, wasn't a huge fan of it. It's not like the, you know, it's not like the classic Zeldas, but I'm not going to list them all because I'm fucking stupid and that would just be boring as shit. I'll, it's, fuck it, I'll list them all. Okay, so according to me, fill me in, you know, if I'm missing one of these. But, by the way, this is Banjo-Tooie, so continuing on with Zelda. But, eh, you know, it was a Nintendo game when it came out, it all kind of makes sense. But... I'm pretty sure of the chronological order, like, within one or two games, but there was the original Zelda for NES, Zelda 2 
for the NES. I think... Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'm coming. I think Link's Awakening for the Game Boy was actually the third one. And then Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo was the fourth one. But I may have mixed those up. They could be swapped. Um, part five, I want to say, is Ocarina of Time, which is crazy when you think about it. If not, it's like part six and a missing one because... That was the one that revolutionized Zelda. You know, it went from 2D to 3D. Everybody's fucking, you know, fucking nips got blasted off from it and shit. But it's only the fifth, and if I'm, unless I'm missing one, sixth game in the whole fucking franchise, which is nuts. Uh, but Ocarina of Time came out, and that was like uh, five. I mean, uh, DX came out at some point too, but that was just a remake of the of the original one for the Game Boy. But Ocarina of Time came out. That was like five. Um, Majora's Mask came out, that was six. Then they had Oracles and, uh, Oracles of Seasons and Oracles of Ages, which both came out in 2001. So that's technically seven and eight. I don't know how the fuck to get Mumbo over here. Uh, there was Minish Cap, which was nine. Uh, fucking Wind Waker was ten. Fuck, I think I'm really fucking up here. Wind Waker was 10, or it was up there. Twilight Princess was... I think 11? Or Phantom Hourglass for the DS was 11. Maybe Phantom Hourglass was 11, because that was the sequel to Wind Waker. Twilight Princess was 12. You got Spirit Tracks, which is 13. And then there is Link Between Worlds, which is the absolute newest one. Oh, and Skyward Swords is 14. And then Link Between Worlds is 15. That was probably the biggest clusterfuck of me just thinking off the top of my head about Zelda games and shit. And everybody's gonna be all mad about it. One, because it was boring and stupid and arbitrary and I probably got shit wrong. But, those are the 15 games that I'm referring to. I have completed every single one of those games from start to finish except for uh, Skyward Sword, which I never played. Because that was right around the time when I moved to Austin. And I kind of just dropped everything I was doing back in New Jersey when I come to, came to uh, work at Rooster Teeth. And then Spirit Tracks, which was the last one on the DS before they made Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. So I would say Spirit Tracks was probably like 2010. I think Spirit Tracks was after um, Skyward Sword, but I could be wrong. But I want to say Spirit Tracks was probably like 2010 and Skyward Sword was like 2011, 2012. So those are the only two I've never fucking beaten. So I'm working on that shit. Hopefully I'll get that done. That'll be cool. That'll be fun. It means nothing, and I'm just a huge fucking nerd. But I can go back to saying, uh, yeah, technically I beat every single Zelda game, not counting the Four Swords and the CDI adventures. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm pretty great. I'm gonna say it like that. I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna say it just like that. Like, uh. Hey, by the way, I found Mumbo, uh, if you were wondering where he was. His Globo, however, not on the opposite side of the universe like Wumba's for the overworld. I'm pretty sure it's right the fuck around here somewhere. And if I'm not mistaken, it's on a fucking ledge or something. Like, you gotta drop down and it's on the on the up, oh, man. It's probably right here. Is this it? Is this right here? Zelda Talk Over, by the way. Sorry. It's awesome, though. I love that game. Zelda, play it. It's fucking phenomenal. Everyone's good. There's not a bad one. Link Between Worlds is okay. It's it relies heavily on nostalgia, and it's honestly like the simplest of any Zelda game. Whereas, sometimes you think handheld, and it's like, oh, it's easy. But most of the handheld Zeldas, they hold up just to, you know, like the the regular Zeldas. You know, the console Zeldas. Oracle of Seasons and Ages, they can get fucking confusing. Minish Cap, I got lost a bunch. The fucking first one, Link to the Link's Awakening. God, that game has a bunch of bullshit, like... The bullshit Zelda trading crap, where you're just trading item after item after item after item after item. But in that game, I'm pretty sure most of it's not even for... Oh, there's Mumbo's thing. It's not even for extra shit. It's just to beat the game. And as a kid, not having internet when that game came out, I didn't beat that game for the longest fucking time. Just because I didn't know where to go. Like, I was just standing there going, I, I guess I'll fuck... I mean, I guess I won't play the game. It, it, it's funny, I'm sure people like my age can remember that, you know, or I, honestly people even, you know, older than me, but I remember as a kid getting stuck in video games, and if you didn't know somebody who knew what to do, or you didn't have the strategy guide, you were fucked, that's it, it's just like, oh, I guess I'm gonna either A, spend fucking forever here trying to figure out what to do, or I'm just 
not gonna play this game. You know, I try to avoid doing that shit, like especially with Skyward Sword I'm playing. I hate using guides for dungeons. Because that's the fun, right? Figuring shit out, knowing what to, or uh, not knowing what to do, but then solving the puzzle, and you feel this like sense of accomplishment. There's no fun if you're reading a guide for that shit. I use the guides for like all the collectibles. You know, I'll kind of use it as a checklist. Like I'll glance at it and say, and I'll see, oh, there's one heart piece and a collectible in Skyward Sword is a goddess cube. There's like one heart piece, two goddess cubes, and some fucking bugs over here. And then that's it. I'll just kind of be on the lookout for that shit so I don't miss it and have to look for a thousand years later. But I really think guides take the fun out of dungeons and shit like that. But they're super handy for fucking collectibles and shiz. Oh, God! Do, 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 do. I don't even know what the fuck this does. I just figure I'd have to do it. God damn it! Okay, so what this does is... There's some way to get a sick fucker on this train. And then you pull the train here. Mumble does his little fucking thing. Heals the bitch. And then he's good to go. But I don't think... I don't think there's anybody on the fucking train yet. I was just doing it because it was there. But whatever. Okay, at least I got Mumble unlocked. I got the little bridge to his fucking thing. I think we've been running long enough, honestly, where I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna... Pop the jiggies into the into the temple, open the next world, and then I think that'll be about it for this video. So I can finally end a fucking video at the end of a level, and not start halfway through the level. Which, you know, if it's I can't avoid that later. It's not the fucking end of the world, but I don't know. I'd like some fucking uh, like structure, okay, in my full place. I'd like to know what the hell is happening. But I'm so gonna fucking play Zelda right after this. Oh, I'm gonna fucking play the shit out of it. I'm gonna play something. I'm gonna play oh, yeah, Link. It, it is kind of sad how, unfortunately, how shitty it looks on the the Wii. Because, you know, there's no Zelda game yet for the Wii U. And besides Link Between Worlds, which is technically the newest Zelda game, uh, but it's for the 3DS, Skyward Sword is the second newest Zelda game. And the newest console Zelda game. And for the last console Zelda game, for a game that's, I don't even think, three years old. Maybe between two and three years old. It does not look good. But, the I mean, the Wii only goes up to fucking 480i. I had the, it doesn't even come with component cables. The Wii comes with fucking composite cables. Which is just fucking SD, you know, yellow, red, white. Yellow for the video, red and white for the audio. I did go out and buy the... You know, you can buy the uh, the component cable that works on the Wii, and it'll upgrade it to the most you can get out of it is 4DI, which is nice, and it really helps for uh, a huge fucking TV. It's not going to do shit on a smaller TV, but even still, <laughs> Skyward Sword was not meant to be played on a 60-inch on a television, which kind of sucks, because the game came out when that's, like, fucking, you know common as shit. Like, everybody has an HD TV. I guarantee you the game would look a lot better on a 40-inch television, but it's more just the pixelation just because it's not meant to be blown up so big, uh, but the, the, the colors and all that shit, I mean, it looks great. It's fucking playable. It's not like, oh, it's terrible. It's just, I mean, like, honestly, as far as HD goes, this game is clearer than Skyward Sword because Banjo-Tooie was remade in HD. Like, they fucking, you know, they, they didn't just port it, they remade the fucking game and upgraded it to HD. So at least it's nice and clear, you know, when you see Banjo up close, while the graphics are shitty, it's not blurry. And that's that's the only problem with Skyward Sword is, it's, it's blurry just because it's the Wii. So, I think after I beat that, honestly, I'm gonna dick around in, um... Uh, Spirit Tracks and shit, because I do want to beat it eventually. But, honestly, I'm thinking about getting a Wii U or just borrowing one and buying Wind Waker. One, because I haven't played it in years, like a long time. It's a really fun game. And I don't think Lindsay's ever played it or, or seen anybody play it. And that's a big, she's always like, Michael, play this game. I don't want to play this game. Michael, I want to watch you play this game. And usually I'm like, shut up. Make my fucking sandwich. But sometimes I do it. And honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to playing it just because I'm in the Zelda kick. And because... <laughs> It'll look fucking great on my TV because it's the only HD console Zelda game. It'll look better than 
uh, Skyward Sword, because I guess technically that's the newest quote-unquote Zelda game, but only because it was remade and upgraded to HD for the Wii U. So now that my Zelda talk for the last 75 minutes is over, uh, that's pretty much it. I unlocked the next world, which we're going to be going into in the next part. I should have enough jiggies to unlock the world after that, so I guess I'll do it while I'm standing here, because that ain't no thing. But that'll pretty much be it. And if you don't like me talking about Zelda, go fuck yourself, okay? It's an amazing game, and I'm playing Banjo-Tooie. It's borderline a fucking segue, okay? It's all, it's all, you know, something. Makes sense? It was a really interesting, uh, I don't know, really, Easter egg, per se, but... Oh, are you shitting me? I don't have enough? Is that what you said? Oh, wow, okay, I wasn't paying attention. I have way more than I need. Um... But there's like this treacherous tower kind of thing in um, Link Between Worlds, which is basically like a wave after wave of enemies where you go up, you know, floor after floor and you don't get to heal in between. Sometimes they give you hearts and shit like that. But uh, it was it was fun. It was a good idea. The only problem is it's way too easy. But that's kind of the whole complaint. My That's really my only complaint with the whole game is the game's way too easy. Uh, but one of the rounds, I'm fairly certain, I could be wrong on this because I didn't look it up or anything. This was just me playing the game and going, what the fuck? But I'm pretty sure one of the waves of enemies is Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Just like a bunch of them. Because it's definitely an enemy that's nowhere to be found in Link Between Worlds. Like, you never encounter that enemy in the game. And I'm pretty sure it was a fucking squirrel with a helmet on. Like, Conquer's Bad Fur Day kind of with the the army skin where he's got the, the helmet on and shit. Could be totally wrong. Could just be some asshole squirrel. I don't fucking know. But... If you can put Conquer in a Zelda game, then I can talk about a Zelda game in a Banjo-Tooie game. Also, I had nothing else to talk about anyway, so... Zelda, Dead Silence. Zelda, eh, Dead Silence. Next time you're getting Dead Silence. That's Dino World, next, right? Or whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know, Pterodactyl Land or some shit? That's where they cut the fucking, the pee-pee out. Oh god, cut pee-pee. There, there was like an overhead pee-pee, like, shooting, you know, like, semen out or whatever, that, like, something the developers put in because they thought it'd be really funny, so if you're flying overhead, it looks like a penis. They fucking changed that shit, which is awful. They took it out. I'll probably, uh, when, when I do that, I'll try and fly over there, and then I'll go online and grab an image from somewhere and overlay that into the video so you can see what it used to look like because you're really just getting robbed if you don't see the pee-pee. You know? Like, it's like going to see Thundergun Express and not seeing him hang Dong. That's the only reason I went to fucking see the movie. I'm a fucking puzzle pro. Plus, they're very easy. Oh, wait. Oh, I spoke too soon. Uh, or did I? Oh, uh, oh, oh. Wow, that was just a fucking rookie mistake. It had an edge. I apologize. Please don't hold that against me. That is not going on. My permanent murder. -na -na -na. I'm really hoping this recording doesn't fuck up. This is great so far. I just opened three more fucking levels. And if I recall, that level, this this third one that I just opened, level six, I guess, fucking nightmare. Just nightmare of multiple levels and stuff. Because that's what really makes the worlds that much longer. When you get confused and lost and shit, because they're certainly bigger than Banjo-Kazooie, but they're not so much bigger in a sense that, oh, it's fucking, you know, there's like seven islands to go to and da 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 It's more, just way more convoluted in the actual level. So this one, Grunty Industries, there's like a big fucking factory, and there's like three floors high, you know, but you gotta go to the third floor to like move shit on the first floor, but you can't just go up and down, because that would be too easy. It's like looping around and shit. It's like a goddamn, it's like a goddamn water dungeon from Ocarina of Time. When you're fucking with the water levels and shit, it may not be that bad, quite frankly, but it's annoying shit like that. And again, that's why I absolutely have to fucking play that level first before I start recording. And I don't usually, like, 100% them. I just kind of run around. I do all the unlocks and shit that I need to do. And once I'm confident where I'm playing the game and I can say, Okay, now I know I won't get stuck anywhere. Then I'll just record the video. You know, so like, like this one. I only ran around in Witchy World for maybe... 20 minutes, you know, I didn't even get all the jiggies and shit, but I was just like, 
all right, you know, I, I more or less know what I need to get, so then I'll hop into the game. And I, but even then, honestly, I figured it'd be faster, and I, I was expecting to do a little bit of the next level, which is here, uh, to, <laughs> to Ye Lagoon. It's not actually called To Ye Lagoon, it's called Lagoon something or other, but this is the next level. I'd say it's a pretty good stopping point. We did pretty well. Michael's not sick. Michael didn't have any major fuck-ups. Michael told everyone, uh, shut the fuck up about full play not coming out every week because it's going to happen again. Guess what? I'll try to do one next week. I'll try to do one the week after. But uh, I'm fucking, I got a million things to do. And even if I don't have a million things to do, it's the fucking weekend. Sometimes I don't want to come in on the weekend, okay? So maybe next time you come in on the weekend, huh? How would you like that? You know what I'm going to do if you come in the weekend? I'm going to fucking kill myself. Great. You killed Banjo. You ruined the whole goddamn full play. You fucking savage. Oh, no, he's fine. Never mind.